Okay, so we're on our third and final problem of the day, and this is question 11 from our classical mechanics books. Uh, and it says the position of a moving particle is given by R of T equals X hat B cosine of omega T plus Y hat C sine omega T. Where B, C, and omega are constants, describe the particle's orbit. Okay, so if we think of a single position, say x comma y, that's going to be B cosine of omega t. This will describe the x component and C sine omega t and this describes the y component so x equals b cosine of omega t and y equals c sine of omega t well we could solve for cosine over here and we find that cosine of omega t is equal to x divided by b and sine of omega t is equal to y divided by c okay well what we could do is these are all equivalent so x over b plus y over c is equal to what well what's x over b x over b is cosine of omega t plus y over c and we said y over c is sine of omega t so what we're doing is x over b so we're adding these two together but because of what we just saw that'd be equivalent to just adding, adding cosine of omega t and sine of omega t. We didn't break any rules of algebra by writing this out. Hopefully that makes sense. Now I could square everything and say x over b squared plus y over c squared is equal to cosine of omega t squared plus sine of omega t squared. But this, you should recognize, is Pythagorean's identity, which is just equal to one. So x squared over b squared, if we square everything, plus y squared over c squared is just equal to one. So you hopefully recognize this as the equation of an ellipse, where we have B and C, which are your major and minor axis. So the path taken by this particle, it goes the path of this ellipse. And it also wanted to know, that's all it wanted to know, is to describe its path. That's the path. Um, the period is T. Well, first off, it's actually omega T, because that's what was in our cosines and sines, is equal to 2 pi. Or t, our period, is 2 pi over omega. So this is how long it takes for the particle to do one rotation. Um, and it follows the pattern of, it goes about an orbit of this ellipse. So a little bit of algebra tricky, trickiness there, but if you follow the algebra, hopefully that wasn't too, too bad.